Have you ever picked up a strange stone and felt that spark of curiosity, that small voice inside asking, what if this isn't from Earth? Picture this. You're walking across an empty desert plain, the sun burning above, when something dark catches your eye against the pale sand. You bend down and lift it. It's heavier than it should be. Its surface is smooth in places, scarred in others, almost as if it has endured fire. Could it be a stone born not here, but in the cold vacuum of space? Could this ordinary-looking rock in your hand be a survivor of a cosmic journey spanning millions or even billions of years? And here's the astonishing truth. Meteorites have been found in deserts, in icy fields of Antarctica, and even in backyards. They can fall anywhere, silently waiting to be discovered. So when you hold a strange stone, you may be holding history itself. Chapter 1 The Journey of Space Rocks Every meteorite has a story more ancient than our planet. Long before Earth had oceans or forests, before the first forms of life stirred in the seas, fragments of rock and metal were colliding in the vast emptiness of the early solar system. Some came from the asteroid belt, torn apart in violent collisions. Others were born in the molten cores of planet-like bodies, shattered by impacts. A few even carry whispers of other worlds, material from Mars or from our very own moon, blasted into space and sent drifting until Earth's gravity drew them in. Chapter 2 From Meteor to Meteorite When these fragments finally enter our atmosphere, they blaze across the sky as meteors, fiery streaks of light we call shooting stars. But most meteors never survive. They burn to dust before reaching the ground. Only a rare few endure the furnace of entry, slamming into the Earth's surface as solid survivors. And those survivors we call meteorites. So what exactly is a meteorite? A meteorite is a fragment of rock or metal from space that survives its passage through the atmosphere and lands here on Earth. The journey is brutal. Imagine traveling at over 40,000 kilometers per hour, slamming into the upper air, and being set ablaze by friction so intense that the surface begins to melt. If the fragment is large enough, the outer layers burn away, but the core remains intact, crashing down to the surface. That surviving piece is a meteorite, a stone born among the stars, older than Earth itself. Chapter 3. Types of Meteorites Scientists categorize meteorites into three main types. Stony meteorites are the most common, rich in silicate minerals. Iron meteorites are made mostly of metallic iron and nickel, glittering with a heavy sheen. And stony iron meteorites, the rarest of all, dazzle with mixtures of both stone and shining metal. To hold one is to hold time itself. Some meteorites are more than four and a half billion years old, tiny capsules of the solar system's earliest moments, frozen before planets even formed. They are not just rocks, but cosmic storytellers, preserving the chemistry of the early universe. Each type gives scientists a unique window into the birth of planets and the history of our solar system. Chapter 4 The Seven Signs of a Real Meteorite Sign 1 The Fusion Crust As a meteorite tears through Earth's atmosphere, the outer layer of the rock begins to melt under incredible heat. When it slows down and cools, that melted skin solidifies into a thin, dark shell called the fusion crust. It is often black or deep brown, smooth, sometimes with delicate cracks like broken glass. On freshly fallen meteorites, it can look glossy, as if dipped in tar. Sign 2. Regmeg lips. Look closely at the surface. Do you see small dimples, shallow hollows pressed into the rock? like thumbprints in clay? These are regmaglyphs, formed during the fiery descent as air sculpted patterns into the molten surface. They are unique signatures of atmospheric flight. Sign 3. Magnetism. Bring a magnet near the rock. Most meteorites contain iron and nickel, forged in the heart of ancient stars. The magnet's pull may be strong or subtle, but it's a powerful clue. Still, magnetism alone is not proof. It must be considered with the other signs. Sign 4. 
Weight meteorites often feel heavier than they look because of their density. Rich in metal and compact minerals, they carry an unusual heft. Even a small fragment may surprise you, as if you were holding a piece of solid iron. Sign 5. Metallic Flex Inside If nature or a small chip reveals the interior, you may see sparkling silver flecks, tiny grains of iron and nickel. Some meteorites even show Widmanstetten patterns, crystalline designs that no earth rock can mimic. Sign 6. Absence of Bubbles Unlike volcanic rocks on Earth, meteorites cooled in space, leaving them solid and compact. If your stone is riddled with cavities, it is likely slag, not a space rock. Sign 7. The Streak Test Drag your stone across ceramic. Earth rocks often leave vivid streaks, red, yellow, or brown. Meteorites usually leave nothing or just a faint gray. That silence is its own answer. Chapter 5. The Cosmic Truth Now you know the seven signs. The blackened fusion crust, regmaglyphs, the thumbprints of space, a magnetic pull from cosmic metals, a weight heavier than expected, shimmering metallic flecks within, a body free of bubbles, and the silent streak test. Alone they whisper. Together they shout the truth. This stone is not from Earth. Chapter 6. The Bigger Picture Think of what that means. In your hand lies a fragment of deep time, a rock older than our planet, older than our oceans and mountains, older than the first spark of life itself. It has drifted through the silent darkness of space, struck by no hand, shaped by no tool, until at last it fell through our skies in a blaze of fire. To hold a meteorite is to hold the universe itself. It is proof that we are not separate from the cosmos, but deeply connected to it. For the stars fall upon us, and in them we see the story of creation. So the next time you walk through a lonely field, wander across a desert plain, or scour the gravel of a riverbank, keep your eyes open. You may not just be picking up another stone. You may be cradling a fragment of eternity. Because sometimes the greatest discoveries begin with a simple question. What if this stone isn't from Earth? And if you do find one, you're not only holding a rock, you're holding evidence of journeys across the cosmos. These stones are living proof that the universe is still reaching out to us. If this journey sparked your imagination, don't stop here. The ground beneath your feet is full of secrets, and some of them come from the stars.